good morning and happy I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I'm recording this on a Thursday, so happy Thursday. But welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking you through another full day of eating, which is one of my favorite videos to make because I just love sharing how you can make healthier recipes that taste good and fit your macros. And today I wanted to do kind of a little bit of a different take on how I'm sharing my meals. So I specifically wanted to be sharing kind of quick, easy, healthy meal ideas that still taste good. So the focus being on quick and easy because I know all of us are busy. I am still working through a cut. So, so far I've actually lost about four pounds since I started this cut. I'm currently eating about 1700 calories and I will pop up my macronutrient breakdown right now. It's about 120 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of fat. I definitely don't want to cut further. So we will see. I might just like start adding more and more cardio and see how my body responds to that without significantly cutting more calories because at a certain point, it's just not fun anymore and I'm not cutting for like a competition or for something specific I'm just doing it for me so I don't want it to go to a place where it's like super unenjoyable but that being said always want to remind you that everything I'm eating today are for my goals and what might be a cut for me it may not be for you and vice versa so just take everything I'm eating in context use it as inspiration for yourself but not an end-all be-all so far today I've just had my coffee I am soon going to go make my breakfast sandwich and I'm going to be timing how long it takes me to make all these meals today because I just want to show how it can be simple and easy if you have a crazy busy life. Today I'm also going to show you a kind of mini Trader Joe's haul. I need to go run to Trader Joe's and pick up some things, get restocked, and then I'm also going to be doing a leg workout. So that should pretty much be my day. So I am excited to share this day with you and let's get started. Okay, so for breakfast lately, Chris and I have been really into these breakfast sandwiches. I love our blueberry breakfast smoothie, but sometimes you just want like a savory, warm breakfast. So we found a way to like make this breakfast sandwich really healthy. And so basically all it is, I'm gonna cook up some bacon, saute up some egg whites on my bun, which you could do like whatever type of bread you like. I'm gonna spread some avocado. This avocado is like literally perfect. And the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. As you can tell, I am about to head to the gym. Got my one of my favorite gym outfits on from Lululemon. I really want to buy some more gym clothes from Lululemon, but they're expensive, if you didn't know. But yeah, so I'm about to head to the gym, and then I am gonna stop by Trader Joe's, and yeah, I'll show you my leg day, my Trader Joe's haul, and I'll come home and have lunch after that. So let's do it.
my workout. I was there way longer than I normally am. I don't know why it took so long to record today. So now I am gonna go run to Trader Joe's real quick, pick up a few things, get restocked on my favorites from TJ's. If you haven't seen my best and worst of Trader Joe's video yet, go watch it. But yeah, gonna go get stocked up on that, then head home and have lunch. So I got a ton of food. So this is going to be for taco bowls. I got the veggies that we need for that. Salmon, as I always do. Two of them, one to freeze. Sweet potatoes to have with the salmon. Egg whites, obviously for our breakfast sandwiches. Tons of fruit. I did get this like live basil just because I've been wanting to make a margarita pizza in our pizza oven and the grocery store by us like has not had basil. So I figured I would just grow my own basil. A bunch of fruit, which basically the reason I got all this fruit is because I'm making a special treat for a St. Patrick's Day party tomorrow. So I will pop up on the screen like my inspiration, but that's why I have like so much different fruit that I normally probably wouldn't get. Flowers to freshen up the place. Of course, spinach, our mochi nuggets, dog treats. We all know who those are for. A ton of protein bars for Chris, edamame, frozen blueberries, and of course my mini cones. And this was a new flavor, so I haven't tried this yet. So we're gonna try that. But yeah, that's everything I got. And it was all $150. Now we need to put it all away. All right, so I am quite hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my little lunch smoothie now. Unloaded all of those Trader Joe's groceries. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing everything I got from Trader Joe's. It was a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna start making my little smoothie now. It is about 4.30 now, so I'm gonna have my snack, my first snack for the day. I haven't really been hungry yet, so just starting to get hungry, so I'm having my little snack, and of course having my Greek yogurt and my mochi nuggets from Trader Joe's. If you haven't tried these yet, I highly recommend them. And I've been eating this Light and Fit Dannon Greek yogurt lately, and they're really good, and this blueberry flavor tastes like gogurt to me, so I'm really into this. This is going to be my snack for before dinner. And I'll also be having my AHA orange grapefruit. And Chris is gonna have the blueberry pomegranate flavor. Alright, so it is 5.45, so we are about to start dinner. And tonight we're making a pesto pasta with chicken breast and green beans on the side. And so yeah, it should be pretty simple, straightforward, easy. We're gonna grill up the chicken on the barbecue. Chris is prepping it right now, right next to me. And then all we need to do is like boil up some water for the nudes. And we got the pesto sauce from Costco. It's really good. What else? I think that's pretty much it. So obviously this will take a little bit longer than all of the other meals I made earlier today, but should still be overall pretty quick, simple, straightforward. Should be still very healthy have good macros, and of course, getting good protein in with the chicken breast. Did you stroke the breast? Yeah, I already stroked the breast. Popping off some salt, garlic Parmesan seasoning. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. 
Really all that takes time for this meal is getting the water to boil. So I'm literally just waiting for the water to boil, the chicken's done, the green beans are only gonna take another like minute. And yeah, so I should have started the water a little bit sooner apparently, but here we are. And Chris just ran to the grocery store to buy us some drinking water because our like spigot with our softened filtered water and like our fridge water just completely stopped working. And turns out we have a leak. Home ownership is so fun. I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Okay, so it is about nine o'clock. I still have to have a couple snacks to hit my macros tonight. So I was gonna make like a little thing of popcorn, just like a little mini bowl, and then have my mini cone. And I think that's it for the night. So I will, of course, show making that. Those should be super quick and easy to make and eat. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed seeing my quick, easy, tasty, healthy meal ideas today. And if if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so i know to make more videos like this and i will see you guys next time And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the link above where I've linked my entire full days of eating playlist.